Hi guys, it's Tao. I'm back with another one. In today's video, I will be unboxing, setting up, and giving you my initial impressions on the DexPad by Samsung. I purchased this at the Samsung store the other day for $149.99 Canadian dollars. Having recently switched to the Galaxy S9 and never trying Dex, I thought I'd get my hands on it and give it a whirl. Samsung markets the Dex Pad as a device that can turn your phone into a PC-like experience. Samsung Dex lets you connect your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, Note 8, and S9 or S9 Plus to a monitor, keyboard, and mouse for a desktop experience powered by your phone. To use Samsung Dex with Dex Pad, the mobile phone should be loaded with Android 8.0 Oreo or above. The Dex Pad has a built-in cooling fan. It will act as a phone charger. It weighs 135.4 grams and has two USB 2.0 ports, one HDMI port, and one USB Type-C port. Once you open the box, you will also find the following items included. One charging block, one USB Type-C cable, and one HDMI cable. The setup was actually quite easy. After plugging in my monitor, keyboard, and mouse into the DeX pad and docking the phone, it takes a couple of seconds to load up and you're greeted with the DeX home screen. Just a heads up, if your case does not have a wide open cutout at the bottom, you'll have to take it off to dock the device. If you use Windows, then you'll feel right at home in terms of layout. After using DeX over the weekend, these are my initial impressions and the things that stood out to me. You absolutely have to enable Dex Labs, which allows you to resize apps that aren't officially supported by Samsung. Netflix, unfortunately, still wouldn't go full screen even after enabling Dex Labs. After doing some research, I stumbled upon an app on the Play Store called Desktop Hub, which enables all apps to work full screen. Now I'm able to watch Netflix full screen perfectly. The app also has a bunch of other features, but they require a one-time fee. The design of the Dex Pad allows you to use the phone as a trackpad. The trackpad works well enough if you don't have access to a mouse or just prefer a trackpad. My monitor has speakers built in and sound is delivered via the HDMI connection. Otherwise, all audio will come from the phone itself. You have the option to pair a set of Bluetooth speakers or plug-in headphones, and if yours has a built-in mic, picking up phone calls is super convenient. I watched a few videos where people were saying the apps wouldn't update until you click on them. But I tested this with a YouTube video in the foreground and messages that were sent to me were being updated in real time despite being in the background. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S9 and while opening over 20 apps, I didn't notice any slowdowns at all. I was pleasantly surprised by the drag and drop ability of the DexPad. I tested out both the gallery and Samsung files. You have to click and hold the file, which enables file selection. From there, select the files you want to drag to and email or message and voila, you're dragging and dropping files like on a regular computer. All the buttons on my mouse worked flawlessly. Scrolling through web pages and apps with the scroll wheel, the thumb button launches the recent app screen, I can scroll horizontally through the recent apps with the thumb wheel, even the back button on my mouse works like the back button on the phone. You have access to everything you would on your phone from the desktop, including notifications, quick settings, search, date and time. Apps like Microsoft Word and Excel are optimized beautifully for DeX and honestly run just as good as on any PC or laptop. Keep in mind that you'll need an Office 365 license to run Word or Excel in DeX mode. Microsoft requires you to purchase a license when the connected display is over 10 inches in size. My husband who works with Word and Excel files a lot was super impressed by how seamless the programs ran off the phone. Last thing I want to cover is the fan. I found that it kicked in whenever I had anything that was slightly demanding open. It's summer here in Toronto right now, so it could also be due to the higher ambient temperature. The fan noise isn't bad at all, so if you're worried about that, don't be. It does a very good job at keeping your phone cool and preventing any overheating. After a few days of use, I have to say I'm very impressed by DeX. I went in thinking it would be very limited, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I'll be testing DeX out more extensively and will do a follow-up video with my overall thoughts once I've spent a little more time with it. I also want to add that the three Best Buy stores that I went to before the Samsung store were all sold out of DeX pads. So either the DeX pad is a really hot selling product or they're just not stocking them due to the potential release of a new model or redesign for the Note 9. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace.